I've been vlogging for four days straight, and it's actually, I'm really excited. I'm still really excited. Uh, Vita got me into vlogging seriously last year, and I'm excited to be more prepared for it this year. But the, I'll admit the spontaneity of it, the spontaneity of it is part of what attracts me to it. But I promise to talk about things I learned from NerdFest. So NerdFest, uh, the first of its kind, sponsored by Savvy, or organized by Savvy Planet, um, and my friend Charlotte, along with a team of amazing people, was put on last Saturday in uh, Kitchener, Waterloo. And we had Artemis, and we had uh, all kinds of board games. We had a ton of different board game sponsors. We had Duck Hunt, and go, go, go watch the NerdFest video, and you'll see some of that, and you'll see some other stuff. Um, but I learned a lot of things from it and from organizing big events because I organized some sort of small events and, uh, it's, it's a challenge in a lot of ways, but it really helps to have a great team and, and have a really supportive community. And we're lucky enough to have that here. And I, but I learned a bunch of other things, which I will talk about, I don't know, on through the course of the night. Th it's Thursday tonight. So tonight is the night I teach my niece guitar, which I am not going to film, though we will have Gwen on stream. Uh, for headshots, and she is super cool. I'm not gonna lie, my nieces are probably some of the coolest kids I've ever met. Okay, they're definitely some of the coolest kids I have ever met. They might be the coolest. They're pretty cool. Uh, one of the things I learned from the caterers, apart from the fact that they all have really good food, great British bake and little mushroom catering and bread baron, oh, so good, is that you can make anything nerdy. Bread baron just brought video games. Um, Great British Bake had cupcakes with nerdy pictures on them, like star stuff from Star Wars and Star Trek and you name it, and made of edible paper. The thing you do is nerdy if you love it. And that's what that's what being a nerd is about. It isn't about liking Star Wars or liking Star Trek or liking video games. It's just about liking things unashamedly. And that was a neat lesson to pull away because we're all sort of nerdy about different things. It doesn't matter if you have a great set, as long as you have a great show. We were super nervous going into it, because um, we're used to performing on YouTube for you guys, instead of live. But everyone is a part of the show, and everyone works. the show is best when everyone works to make it a great show, rather than thinking of it as tiny pieces of a thing that come together, whether, whether it's different bands or a speaker series or whatnot, uh, along with a lot of other organizations and games. If everyone thinks of it as a coherent thing, rather than focusing just on doing their own thing, everything is improved. And that was not something I had necessarily thought about. Also, love my hat. And my last one is that I learned that it's important to be the biggest fan of everyone else who's playing with you and sharing a stage with you. Uh, because that is what you would want them to do. And, yeah. I don't know, I learned a lot from, from Copyright Leader. You guys were super fun and professional and respectful, and they are my new exemplars for how I want to be a professional musician. Not that I am a professional musician, but one day. Anyway, I will see you guys later with probably a video from International Tabletop Day.